Hey, wake up. Wake up, sleepyhead. Come on, you can do it. Keep trying to open your eyes. You can do it. You're almost there. Good morning, sunshine. Did you sleep well? Did you dream of me? No, I said, did you dream of me? This isn't a dream. Hey, 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 shh. It's okay, shh. You don't have to be scared. It's okay. It's me. It's just me. You know I don't want to hurt you. Why am I here then? You weren't answering any of my texts or calls. I know you said you needed space, but I was so worried. I had to check up on you. You know, a simple text back was all I really needed. I probably wouldn't have done all this if I heard anything from you. Or maybe I would have. <laughs> Who knows? I wasn't planning on tying you up like this, but I don't know. I thought I'd be better safe than sorry. Looks like I was right, too. Also, stop trying to get out. You won't be able to. You'll just make your wrists sore. And that wouldn't feel very good, would it? No. So sit still for me, okay? And be quiet. Use your indoor voice. Excuse me? What? What was that? I did hear you. I'm just making sure I heard you correctly. You really think... <laughs> me. You think I... You think I would... <sighs> no. No, I would never. Why would you think that I would drug you? You're in your own bedroom. Why would I drug you just to keep you here? That makes no sense. I did not drug you. Can you please stop saying that I did? Because I didn't. I'm not a liar. I would never do that to you. You should know that. I wouldn't hurt you, okay? I don't want to hurt you. I'm not kidding when I say that. I promised you I would never hurt you. And I'm not crossing my fingers on that one. If you really must know, I came in through the window while you were sleeping. I think you forgot how heavy of a sleeper you are. I really don't think it matters how I got here, though. Because I have some more important issues in mind that I would like to talk about. Oh? You don't know? Surely you're joking around. Well, you would know if you checked any of the messages I left. I'm not really sure who you think you're dating, but I'm not an idiot. You really need to stop talking to those other girls. 
Like, you don't need to talk to them. All right? You want space? Fine. I'll give you space. But how can you want space for me and then spend so much time with them? I don't think that's very fair. It feels more like a punishment than a break. I just want you to know how much I love you, okay? You can't fault me for that. I like the time we spend together. And we have good times together. Don't you think? You don't need anyone else. You have me. I can give you anything you want. So stop pushing me away, okay? The more time we spend together, the more we get to know each other. We don't have to entertain each other all the time. I just want to be close to you. I don't know why that's so hard to understand. <sighs> Look, they don't have your best interest in mind. You can have friends, but you trust them too much. You don't need to be that close with anyone else but me. They don't need to know you like that. Don't you think it's special how close we are? No one will understand the bond between us. Let's not let others get in the way of that. Okay? It makes things messy. No one likes messy. Sweetheart, I'm not trying to control you. I'm not a monster. Why would you think that? I just wanted to make sure you would listen to me. I wasn't sure you would really listen to me if I didn't tell you up. And I'm right about that, aren't I? I thought so. Don't think I don't know the things they say about you. They should know they can't have you like they want you. So stop giving them a taste of what's mine. They don't deserve you. I really don't mean to be rude, but you can be very thick-headed sometimes. And you don't see the way they fawn over you. I wouldn't have to be extreme if you actually listen to what I have to say. I've been warning you about this. <sighs> Actually, I don't mind it, really. It makes things a little more exciting. <laughs> Can I untie you now? I don't know, babe. I think we should keep you tied up for a bit longer. I'm not really sure you've truly learned your lesson yet. I want to make sure you have. I don't want to leave here and then see more posts of you on other girls' stories. You don't realize it, but those pictures are bragging rights. I can't risk that again so soon. Plus, it would make me very angry. And I don't think anyone wants to see me when I'm angry. If you think I'm a monster now, just you wait. <laughs> I'm surprisingly calm most of the time, but 
when push comes to shove. Well, let's just say you don't want to shove me. But you've been poking me. And poking gets annoying pretty quickly. You think I'm crazy. You think I'm the crazy one. <laughs> At first glance, yeah, sure. I'm off my rocker. I'm not in my right mind. Oh no. I'm a danger to myself and others. <laughs> That's rich. You know, I can't help but think. Why do you always project so much? So you act like you wouldn't do the same thing back. Or... Are you just playing the part? You're playing the part. Mm. Yeah, you like being a good boy. Playing along. I know you're enjoying this. You couldn't hide it even if you wanted to. Oh, that's very cute and sweet of you. Don't forget, though. Just because you're enjoying this doesn't mean you're getting off the hook, okay? You can stay in this chair, and you stay tied up. I call the shots, okay? You be a good boy for me, and I get to tease you for as long as I want. I have to show you who's really in charge here, right? You can go and pretend like I'm too much for you. I'm just a crazy, clingy girlfriend. Yet you're sitting here, whimpering, begging for me to touch you. You live for this. What if I don't touch you just yet? What if I like teasing you? Mm. Those little noises you make. The places you go. It also makes me wonder what sounds you'll make when I choose to give you.